In this video, we're going to work through a couple of different examples that go along with these same set of directions. The directions would be sketch the graph of a function described if possible. And see, that is a really key thing to keep in mind, if possible. If it's not possible, we need to explain why not, but we need to be able to analyze the information that's given to us and either be able to put it into the form of a picture or indicate why we can't form such an example. So for this first one, we're looking for a function that would have a jump discontinuity at x equals negative 1. It would be left continuous at x equals negative 1. And f of negative 1 would be equal to 2. So as I'm looking at this, I'm realizing that the only x value that they are specifying is negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my graph with the assumption that perhaps I can draw this. And let's see if we have any sort of issue. So um, perhaps looking at this, it would be easiest to plot a point. So I'm looking at f of negative 1 is equal to 2, and plotting that point would be a good starting place. That is one of the requirements, so we definitely need that point uh, negative 1 comma 2 on our graph. So uh, let's keep working our way up. The next thing it tells us is we need to have left continuous at x equals negative 1. And the reason I'm choosing to look at um, the one-sided continuity next is because every time I look at one-sided continuity, I uh, first locate the point, which we just plotted, and then I look to see which place, which side it's attached to. So here I'm specifying that it needs to be left continuous at that x value. So really, whoops, I did not mean for that to be a um, an eraser. So let's go ahead and put it back there. Okay. So I need it to be left continuous at x equals negative 1. So I'm really going to attach my point from the left-hand side there. And it doesn't matter so much where it goes. I just know that I need to attach it there from the left-hand side. The other piece of information, the last piece that we need to see whether or not it's consistent with everything we've drawn so far, is that we need a jump discontinuity. Well, a jump discontinuity tells me that my two finite one-sided limits can't match. So right now, the left continuity is telling me I know what my left-hand limit is. My left-hand limit must be 2 because it needed to match the function value there. Um, but it never so far have we specified anything about what the right-hand limit needs to be. And so we have complete freedom in that. It just needs to be that it doesn't match because we do, in fact, want a discontinuity. So perhaps there we can just have this open circle that from the right-hand side we would be approaching. And that open circle could be above or below um, the, the solid dot that we had. Um, but really there is what we have to work with. That gives us a jump, it gives us the left continuity, and it gives us the right function value. And so we really have complete freedom just to kind of keep this a function to make it look whatever we want to. Um, past that. And so that would be an example that satisfies the three uh, criteria listed. Um, so it is possible and we've provided an example. Looking at this next one, um, we have the exact same directions. We're looking this time not for a jump discontinuity, but a removable discontinuity at x equals negative 2. We want not left continuous, but rather right continuous at x equals negative 2. And we have a different function value. f of negative 2 is 0. So again, I'm going to work through this um, as if I, uh, just like I did in the previous example, it's easiest uh, to go ahead and plot your point. And notice the only x value that is specified in any of this is the x equals negative 2. It's talking about removable, discontinuity, right continuous, and the function value is what's happening at x equals negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and plot the point uh, negative 2 comma 0 because that would then satisfy our third criteria there. We need to have the function um, value uh, at negative 2 be equal to 0. Now moving on up, uh, right continuous is telling me how I attach my solid dot there at negative 2 to the function. So this uh, right continuous is telling me I need to attach it uh, from the right. And so uh, perhaps deviating from that solid dot, I know that it's attached there at the right. 
But notice then, as soon as I try to go up to the removable discontinuity at negative 2, what that's telling me is wherever my right hand limit is going, my left hand limit has to be there too because that whole limit has to exist. But as soon as I stick in the left hand limit to match the right hand limit, it's no longer um, continuous. So we can't, or sorry, it's no longer has a discontinuity at all. It can't be a removable discontinuity with the function value defined there. And so this is going to be a not possible situation. We tried and we ran into trouble because we can't simultaneously have a removable discontinuity and be right continuous. And so uh, since it's not going to be possible, we need to be able to explain why not. And really using some uh, limit statements would be the most concrete uh, way of explaining. So removable discontinuity. So here... For uh, statement one, to have a removable discontinuity, what that's telling me is that the limit as x approaches uh, negative 2 from the left has to match the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right. That's what that's telling me. Okay. The second thing that we are being told is that it needs to be uh, right continuous at negative 2. So what that's telling me is that the limit from the right of the function has to match the function value. So f of negative 2. Well, f of negative 2 here is equal to 0. Well, perhaps let me go ahead and write that in a separate statement here. All right, so now let's take a look. Right now, we have that 0 is equal to the function value but the function value is equal to the right-hand limit, but the right-hand limit is equal to the left-hand limit. So all of these together would be saying that um, it would be continuous at uh, x equals negative 2, but it's not. Because we have a removable discontinuity. And so we can't have a removable discontinuity um, and it be continuous. Those two things are incompatible. And so that's um, an algebraic way or a, maybe a calculus way using calculus um, terminology and notation to show why this is not possible.